Meanwhile, the White House and its intelligence agencies are hoping the utility of these spy programs may be enough to ward off efforts in Congress to rein them in. U.S. officials last week claimed they intercepted an immediate specific threat from al-Qaeda. That led to a global terror warning and the closing of nearly two dozen diplomatic posts around the Arabian Peninsula, the Gulf, and into Africa. On Wednesday, details of how that threat was intercepted was leaked to two defense journalists cozy with the Pentagon, who ran an article in the Daily Beast describing a Legion of Doom conference call between more than 20 al-Qaeda leaders and operatives around the world that was intercepted by U.S. intelligence. Allegedly, al-Qaeda leaders used this conference call to discuss plans for a pending attack. Now, if you think it's a little fishy that al-Qaeda leaders would suddenly begin using global conference calls to plan their attacks, you're not the only one. After the story broke, journalists with the AP, the Washington Post, and the Los Angeles Times immediately cast doubt on it and argued that the government's account of what happened just doesn't add up. But even if it does add up, there's an even bigger problem, which is that a critical intelligence operation against al-Qaeda was leaked, likely putting at risk that entire operation moving forward. And really, isn't that far more damaging to our intelligence communities than anything Edward Snowden has leaked so far? So the question is, why is there no outrage or demand for espionage charges coming from the government today?